What's going on, YouTube? It's Blood, Sweat, and Gears 87. It is September 12th, and I decided to come out here and sit in the stand. This is my very first day in the deer stand for this season, and the reason I decided to come back here is I actually came back here earlier this evening, and I uh, checked some cameras, and I got a couple pictures of some bucks out here, but last night, there was a 10 point out here in my feeder, like right across this field over here. There was a decent 10 point out here last night around like one o'clock in the morning. So I'm figuring he's gotta be bedded down somewhere out here right now. So I decided to come on out here and see if see what we see. But uh, trying to rush, I made a rookie mistake. Forgot my camera arm, my camera arm that connects right here. So, you already know what that means. I'm not gonna be able to feel, I mean film the whole hunt. I'll uh, pull the camera up, try to record a few things, but I'm not gonna be able to film that well. Do you guys hear that? Last season, I was saying how every time I came back here, there was some people over here working and I didn't see that much activity because the guys over here were working. But apparently, they put a feeder over here, which sucks. I literally, like, I can see my feeder over here, and I can also see their feeder as well. They put it, like, right on the line. So I guess they must have realized that it was decent deer over here, nice bucks and all that kind of stuff. But the people on this neighboring property, they have a feeder, literally, right over here. I can see it from my stand. That's crazy to me, it sucks. But you never know, it might help us out in the long run, who knows. But anyway, there was a nice 10 point out here. I'll put some pictures of him in here somewhere so you guys can see him if I haven't already done so. But we're gonna sit out here and just wait until it gets dark and see, see what happens. And I actually came down here and mowed a couple paths in, mowed a couple paths in and out of here. And I decided to leave the rest of uh, the grand standing. So I figured I would leave the bucks and the deer with some other bed down and hide. But yeah, we're gonna wait, see what happens. You never know. The buck was literally on camera last night around 1 a.m. So he could be out here anywhere. Let's see what happens. My here in the pasture. I've uh, been getting some trail cam pictures of a bachelor group of bucks that's been out here. It's four bucks. Two of them are pretty nice. One of them's a tall eight, and the other one's a really nice ten point. But this is one of the first days where it's really been cool. So I decided I'd come out here and sit because it's uh it's September right now and it's still been fairly hot. But for some reason the temperatures are finally starting to drop. So, I uh, came out here and checked my trail camera, and I see that that buck has been out here every single night this week. He's been over at the feeder every night. So, I mean, you know, since he's been at the feeder at night, he probably won't come out before it gets dark. But this is the first day that we had a really nice temperature drop. So, I decided I'd come out here and just sit in the stand because... Who knows, you, he might come out here to the feeder. I mean, he's been hitting it every night. So he knows the corn is over there. And right over here, we have a nice watering hole. And it's like bedding all around us because the woods is really thick. Now the only thing that might hurt us is acorns are starting to drop. So he won't technically have to come to that corn until he wants to, which typically is after dark. But you never know. Just because we had this nice temperature drop, I decided I'd come out here. So, 
Let's uh, wait around and see what happens. Maybe he'll step out around seven something, right before it's too dark to see. We'll get lucky. Who knows?